Hey guys, welcome back to the Outlaws. Um, I was messing around. Just shut up. With my Xbox. Well, used to be Xbox. Um, give me a second. I might actually show you what I did. Um, I was messing around. This is gonna be a little rant for everybody today. But I was messing around, and I completely deconstructed my Xbox. This is the internal. Um, this is the internal SSD or HDD um hard drive fan this used to be the um disc part i completely just deconstructed it the um motherboard is below me you will you can't see it sorry it's just one of those uh, it's just it's just down there pretty easy but i was messing around and uh, the thought came up and occurred to me sorry this ain't gonna be like a big review or anything but it's gonna be kind of one of those discussions of what has recently happened in the video game world because why not I like video games, I've been looking at them, and something recently happened with um, Saints Row, for everyone out there. Well, it happened recently that I've noticed in the past few years, is that for some reason, video games are not coming out to their fullest extent. Or at least not, not as much as we would like it for, or like it to. It's just... Uh, I don't know. Right now, oh, oh, okay. Let me let me just talk about why not. Let's just let's just go for it. Saints Row. Uh, I was watching some pretty big reviews. I think of Saints Row recently, like a few days ago, and with that came I was like, oh, cool. I think that's pretty. I, I think that's pretty cool. I'm glad Saints Row is um, looking really amazing. It looked like. A combination of of three and four almost almost like it was a mixture between them and i liked it it looked like it was going to be one of those it, was, it just looked so fun but then come to find out i watched some gameplay reviews i watched i looked at someone else reviewing the game and then talking about it and then just kind of showing what the game was and personally speaking, I probably will play it eventually, regardless of what happens and what people have said about it. Eventually, but when the price goes down. But the game, the game came out, and it just doesn't, according to people, it just doesn't look that good, or it doesn't play as as it should for a 2022 game. It just doesn't. And I'm sorry about. I, I just got me. It got me thinking about recent games um i do not like games right now i i will play them i have all my old games that's that's the thing though they're all old they're all at least a year or so or more like i, I don't really buy new games anymore much there's a few but uh it's i i was a big fan of saints row 4 um there was a get out of hell special edition um presidential a uh, presidential edition where you got saints row 4 and get out of hell together for like 10 15 dollars back a long time ago back at gamestop and gamestop was still a thing a big thing but i got that game it was beautiful it was amazing i thought it was it was absolute bull crap it was amazing because you could do all this stupid stuff it was amazing it was a kind of a chaotic sandbox and i really enjoyed that and i was kind of hoping for this new saints row to follow suit because i kind of like that craziness i like the gangster style of three i didn't play three but i watched it i like the gangster style of it and all that but four was really good too with just how stupid it was and how crazy it was and the humor it had but one of those things that came with it and the new one is that it just didn't really it just didn't fit and it just suppose i watched some gameplay man i heard, i saw so many bugs man like it, it sh that's my real thing is that games nowadays i don't know how many years saints row was put in but if you're given two three years for that one game and you're a pretty and it's Saints Row. I think it had a pretty big um company going for it. You shouldn't have all these bugs. And if you do push it back and be like, hey, sorry, we got a few more 
we'll push it back for two or three more months. We got to work out these um, problems and we'll get it to you, but it's, it's going to be good. It's going to be a good, complete game when we get it to you. No, all the gaming, all the new games that are coming out, all y'all are going to hate me, Cyberpunk 2077. God damn, I pre-ordered that bitch. And I, my friend got me hyped up a year before it came out, told me all about it. I got hyped, man. I got real hyped in college. I looked at it, thought it was amazing. He wouldn't stop talking about it. And I really started like looking forward to it. I got it for Xbox One S. That's what I had at the time, or I still have. Xbox One S, pre-ordered it, you know, 60, 70 bucks. Got it, crashed on me. It, it couldn't play. It couldn't run. Um, the system would constantly load in the game while you're in the game, you know, because you could see the world kind of, you know, being built while you're there. And I'm just like, what? This isn't a game. I mean, it, it is, but just how glitchy and how hard it, horrible it ran and stuff like that. It just... We were people like me and everyone else. I think gamers, we were, we are so psyched for a game, but the developers right now are not doing it. Either all the games are kind of semi knockoffs of like Battle Royale, or they are kind of play to or pay to win, kind of. Or there's nothing cyberpunk, the mechanics, the UI. The way the game actually plays is very, I wouldn't say unique, but in its own, I would give its grant of its own way and form. It is unique, but with the how many things you can do, weapons, different kinds of weapons, different skills. I will say the skill system needs to work a little bit of tweaking. I know it's not not bad. It's, I like it, but I think there is too much. I liked Borderlands type of skill tree or in a way of you have all these skills and you can eventually unlock them all that's what i like but this the cyberpunk is very specifically you you have all these skills and you gotta you gotta gamble with what you want and what you don't want you can only have one type of um what is it you can only have one type of real um build but that that to each their own i i still a good system but the the character the weapons, the um, customization of clothing and all that stuff, like the game itself is great, but there's so many bugs that you can't play. I mean, I played it day one. I day one and two, I got to street cred 50, but the game also crashed on me twice. I, I played it. It was good. I ran it. But it was so buggy that I'm just over here like, what the hell do I do, man? I mean, like I said, this is going to be a rant. It's going to be a discussion. I'm sorry. I'm not going to pull anything up because well, I'm sorry. My PC just won't do it. It just, it just can't handle any of that stuff. But I, I'll do what I can. Okay, guys. Um, But it's just one of those things that games recently have just been. Well, they've been they. From what I've noticed and from what I've seen others pe people say. Games are coming out, and they are really popular games are publicly and advertisement-wise. They are getting a lot of publicity. They're getting good advertisements, and they know they are a good name. So they're going to get a lot of money and a lot of pre-orders. And a previous pre precedent shows that this game might come out and be really amazing and get a lot of money regardless. Because the, because you don't know what you're playing until you buy it, or unless you're unless you can return it, and some some things in some places don't allow you to return games. I think um Walmart's one of those, except for GameStop. So it's like if you buy from Walmart, some you can't return, so you just screwed. You just screwed yourself. But it's still the thing of they know they can t they can push out this half written game that you know barely manages to work. No offense, Cyberpunk, but you are the absolute example. It couldn't run on half the consoles because it wasn't optimized for it. But they still said, oh, we're going to push them to it and just let them buy. And then we'll fix it two years later. I don't like that. That is a very 
I think money hungry, greedy way of doing things. And it's, it's not good for gamers because I think gamers are kind of getting sick and tired of it. And I, I am. I love video games. I've been playing for t- 18 years and I'm 23. I just give it a little bit of because I started when I was five. Ish. Sorry. It's just, it's just one of those discussions I really do. It's one of those discussions I really want to have with people. But the, the new games also don't bring, don't have a certain level of interest like saints row from what i looked at it does look fun i i find it'd be fun but i do have adhd so eventually if something gets boring or repetitive enough i'm not gonna follow it i'm just gonna be like oh cool seen that 20 times now yes that's very hard to do in games to keep the attention but some games did that very well um the original saints row did that very yes that one was Saints Row 4 was very repetitive and things, but you were still doing crazy, stupid crap. So no matter what, it still seemed really fun. And you always had new guns. Now I think they still required more. I would, I want a game. What was it? Uh, Overdrive. Uh, Overdrive was a really good one where it had a lot of guns. I can't, I didn't play it very far, but it, I remember it was supposed to be a game with a lot of stupid guns. A lot. I'm talking, I think a hundred or so. I really honestly can't remember. But I want a game of like, kind of like Borderlands with a lot of guns but that all are unique and stupid. But I know that's very hard to do. But games just don't bring that kind of fun out anymore. Halo, Halo, big. Open world games were fun. A lot of them were fun back in the day, back in the 20... Let me just be... Let me be nice. 2012 to like, you know, 2016, 17. I think that was a very beautiful era. The 360 era in Xbox One was a really good era of games. That came out to have really good impact, really good games, I think. And they had fun. But then they just slowly slowly died off because either they were repetitive or they didn't bring anything new or just for some reason they either i don't know i don't know man it's just one of those things from personally i like i'm not like i said i'm not a big deep diver of things sorry i'm not i just i'm not gonna be like super super in depth with names and all that crap i i got too much other stuff to do to do that but i will say from my experience what is it for some reason diablo 3 really got me like that one i will consider my favorite dungeon crawler i haven't actually played i've gone like all six different classes to level 80 and that's it but the game for some reason kept me somehow kept me because you know you could get a good legendary every now and then you could get a good thing you could always improve slowly and get better and better and better and you also didn't know how good the next upgrade would be stuff like that you it was just a good game but it brought a good story as well lord it did but it was unique it was different it was really good call of duty call of duty is one of those where black ops one and two were great stories really good modifications to one another or two to one really good modification and change the story was great even though you know it was a few year um, continuity um gap i i think it was great brought new guns um kind of brought its own story multiplayer was great i guess forever played but but like saints row it's just so glitchy it's just doesn't bring that much fun the ui is kind of simple I mean, the game, I thought it was going to be like a, just a, you know, a 10 times better version of four. Cause I, that's what I want. That's what I would like. Not everyone wants it, but it's just one of those things of, but it also, it honestly just looks like a better version of three, but also simpler, but that's not good because that doesn't really bring too much oomph to it like god i'm trying to think like that's almost like 
making another Skyrim or the next iteration of Elder Scrolls instead of being Skyrim, but it looks worse and plays far simpler than Skyrim. That's what's essentially happened. Not saying that they have done that with Skyrim. It's just like, it's like if someone did that, if someone brought in, oh, the new 2023 game of Elder Scrolls, but it's Skyrim, but it's also like 20 times simpler, less stuff to do, not as creative, and the story is meh. It's just one of those things of why people, and also the businesses will do that. I know the developers and things will do that because money uh, if people want to if people want to argue with me i'm i'm going to be like then why did you and i'm going to ask you did you buy saints row and if you said yeah i did i'm going to be like well, there's your point i was minutes away i drove out of here one of the like a week ago i drove out of here going to the mall to go to best buy to buy it and i just looked up so many reviews that i was just like you know what I'm saving my money. I'm sorry. I can't. I'm saving my money. It's just because people are buying into the whole, I'm going to buy this game, pre-order it. It looks good. And then all of a sudden you get hit with the whole, oh, it got bugs. It's not even, essentially it's like a half made game. And that's the thing. There's, that's not the other issue is that games are still being priced into $60, $70 or if, that's like the simplest one nowadays it's 60 90 and 100 or 110 for you know whatever edition you want but the game itself hasn't had any major improvements um it's like one good one good i think example of this not that it was a bad game but i think um, Tiny Tina's Wonderland should not have been 60 bucks. I don't care. 60, 80, or 100. I don't care. It should not have been that. It was half the size or half the story, essentially, of a regular Borderlands game. It was still big. Don't get me wrong. It was a big game. But it's just one of those things of... It's kind of like, like Call of Duty's story. If I can beat the game in two days... You know, so roughly around, or two or three days, so roughly around, you know, 16 hours. But it's Borderlands, or, you know, spin off of Borderlands, whatever the fuck. I, I don't like that. Especially if you're telling me to pay 60 bucks for it, and it was glitchy. It, it needs more optimization for running on Xbox. Um, It's just one of those, no, I don't want to spend 60 bucks for it. Especially after the words when you learn, oh, because I the first time I popped in, get the, the the world was forming in front of me, and I'm just like, man, no offense. I know the Xbox One S is not the most powerful thing, and all these games are being optimized for Xbox One and Xbox Series, but it still shouldn't at least give me. And the loading screens were still long in some in some of the gods. So these the games are still long or. The loading screens still take a while. I get that you have to, but it's one of those things of... I don't know. I I will say right now, the best games ever were God of War and Spider-Man and Spider-Man for PS4. Those two, I think, are just perfect games because... From my understanding, they didn't need big updates or anything. Not from what I remember. I can't remember. I started playing those like four or five years after they came out. So, But it's just those things of games are too buggy to be priced into $60. And people are still going to buy them, I know. So that's why the, But that's why the developers still do it. Because they know, oh, well, we're still going to get money for it. And we'll just fix it later two years down the line. No, I want a full-blown 95% done game now if I spend 60 bucks for it. And I want that game to look good. I know if Saints Row 4 was graphically, like, you know, okay, weird. It was a kind of interesting style. But Saints Row, Saints Row the new one is just not too... 
it's not too much of an improvement. Yes, there's like a lot of graphical improvements for like the Series X and stuff, but for us older gen consoles for like Xbox One S, it's just like my my Xbox probably can't even run what is it Modern Warfare Two if I tried or it never comes out or if it's already come out I don't even know. It's the one like it could run it, but man, it probably will halfway to, halfway to explode honestly. But I can't do too much with the graphics, and I probably have to lower it to make it run better. So it's just one of those things that people are making games. People are like superseding the games into levels that the consoles one can't really play on or play with to some extent. Because I know Cyberpunk was a beautiful example of like, it, it, it just nothing ran it. Nothing could get it. Because it just wasn't optimized. People didn't put enough effort into it or time into it. Uh, sorry, I'm just a rant. It's just one of those subjects I really wanted to get like my hands on. I also need to make a video for someone, for my channel out there. So here's the rant. But yeah, y'all let me know what y'all's opinions on games are. Because I think the older games we played were better. Because when I bought Black Ops 2, I bought it. I bought the campaign. You got the multiplayer with it. That was it. You got the disc. Boom, bang. You got it. And they came out with DLCs. But that was the point. DLCs were big to a degree to some games. Some games were, you know, still kind of pay to play. Like Battlefield 2. Or Battlefront. Battlefront 2. Star Wars Battlefront 2. That game is great now in my eyes because i didn't i played it you know like recently only like a few months ago to start but i heard it was a really big um pay to pay to win game where it was like you only had to pay to get all the cosmetics and stuff and i'm like ooh, and supposedly lost all of its you know traction and just dumped and went to hell that's what i was going to talk about guys the new harry potter game harry potter legacy it looks amazing but like all of my fears in the games nowadays i don't know how true and trustworthy it is because it's been i think it's been a long time since we've had a true harry potter game come out that was not lego or something like that i other than the Wii, that came out on call that are on all consoles but it also played very well other, other than we i don't know any other harry potter games so like we have to see how it goes, but the uh, I'm just but the odds are it's gonna come out to sixty bucks, then probably some uh, other edition, then probably some like super legendary edition for like 110, 120 bucks that gives you all these extra stuff. But the other part about that is the game itself looks big enough to where you can just go around and get that stuff by yourself. Regard it takes time, and I I would like to do that. But what are the odds that it comes out and it's not optimized? You have to have possibly pay some stuff to get good stuff out of it. Um, it comes out buggy, and I'm talking like real buggy. I'm talking like a do like the one of the magical dorm room doors doesn't open up, and you just get locked in the midst because the magic literally didn't let you through. It looks like a good game. I'm saying I I will buy that one. Not because I'm like a big Harry Potter fan, but because it does look. It's um from what I've learned from the um. What was it? The showcase of it for gameplay. That game and how it's described of what you can do, customization, loot. You have certain types of loot, so for chests, like you have, I think you have a color system, a tier system. You have spells, you have companions, I think you have pets, potions, all these other stuff. You have skill, skills and cards. It's essentially cyberpunk, but for Harry Potter, just I think Harry Potter does it better. If it works like the way we think it does, it will be a beautiful big game. Like I think it would be like 70 gigabytes, probably somewhere around there, if not more. But it'll be a big game. It'll be beautiful. It'll be great. But the odds of it being optimized or having the good graphics to show for it 
for being such a big game and to being so beautiful and graphical because it's it's Hogwarts, it's the um it's Hogwarts, Hogsmeade and the some surrounding areas, it's supposed to be huge. What are the odds that something comes out of it that's just like, oh whoops, we um I actually forgot to mention you gotta pay for like half of this stuff for it to um really get anywhere. Or the graphics are so bad that the game just crashes half the time. Like, I don't know. For all you guys out there who game, just, unless you have the money, then I don't care. Like I said, I'm not telling you what to do. You do you guys, okay? But, the way to make people do something is by either... For someone to force someone's hand, you either have to force it or you do not give them what they want. Businesses want your money and video games want you to buy their video games. So if if you and if the game comes out to be great and it runs perfectly, fuck it. Buy the game. Buy the game straight up pre-order. If, if you've seen other people play it and it runs well and you know them to be legitimate people like if Markiplier or whatever, the, or Jack plays it, something like that, then yeah, sure, I'll trust them and be like, okay, sure, the game is good. It looks to run smoothly. So then, yeah, at that point, you can go do it. But just be careful, guys. Pre-orders and stuff like that are just not reliable anymore. If you have the money, go for it. I don't care. I'm just letting for you guys out there and like me. I don't pre-order anymore because I just don't want to waste 60 bucks. Because I usually get it from GameStop. But now I think I'm going to get, yeah, I usually get from GameStop, so. And I don't want to be that guy, I don't want to be that guy, but I will be that guy that's like, I'll buy it for 60 bucks, I'll play it and see how good it is, and if I don't like it, I'll return it in seven days. I, I'll, I'll absolutely just be like, you know, screw this. I did that with Elden Ring. Sorry, I can't play it. But guys, just enjoy the games out there. Enjoy the older ones. I'm sorry, but the older, older ones will have more oomph to it and more fun than some of the newer ones not all not all of them but some of the older ones will have the graphics might be crap but they will have more oomph to it they will have more stuff and more eccentric feelings to it you will just feel i think better with the older game sometimes not old like 2000 but like 2010 to like 2016 like though that was a good era or tw 2005 to 2015 like that good 10 year period all right guys that's it for me today welcome this will be the end for the outlaws for this video i hope i just y'all have y'all be safe out there be careful i'll um please like comment subscribe ring the bell do whatever you can um um watch the videos um i need if you want to support me please do um the more support the more i can do um, I do have work, so the more support I get, maybe I can buy a new PC or do something where I can modify it and just get a better working camera processor and stuff like that. But it's up to you. I don't care. I'm going to make videos regardless. But my quality will kind of stay at this range till I, I get a better PC eventually and work gets better. But yeah, no, just, just like, comment, subscribe. Um, hope you all have a good day, okay? Welcome back, and I'll see you all later. Peace.